You can even move to Sharjah. You, that means you don't live in Dubai. Yes, Sharjah, people, I'm talking to you. You do not live in Dubai. You live in Sharjah, okay? Hey guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl tessa so yeah first of all this is gonna be just a chit chat video i actually did not intend on recording it today but that I, then i just thought okay let me just sit in front of the camera why not anyways yes so it's gonna be a chit chat video so you might want to get a cup of coffee or tea or whatever it is that you like to drink and um yeah let's just get into it so a lot of people did send me like quite a number of messages after i put the video that said that i was leaving dubai and <laughs> guys i was gonna bring i was certainly going to bring the follow-up video uh the follow-up chit chat video so here it is now but first yeah i did move i already moved and a lot of people didn't notice it no actually no i'm lying there was one person that noticed it i made i think a tiktok video or something like that and the person said hey you moved right i was like um yeah i did i was like what made you notice it they said okay your background is kind of different to your usual background so i figured that you moved to somewhere else and anyway last time when i made the video about leaving dubai i actually left dubai and i was still trying to like settle into my new place and i'll be honest it's almost like it's been i moved in december yeah i moved beginning of december so it will be three months now and to be honest i have not yet settled into my new place i i really like it for one i really really like it but i have some boxes that are still pending you know being um unpacked and stuff and i still don't have the apartment looking the way that i wanted to so hopefully like when i do get to doing that i will upload a video about it okay so the other thing the reason why it took me a long time to unpack it wasn't because i didn't like the place but to be honest i was just kind of i was what do we call it i was going through it <laughs> i was just going through it in life so i just didn't have the the motivation the energy the whatever you can call it you have those days where you wake up and you want to do absolutely nothing not because you feel tired or, or because maybe you were doing something the previous day but because you just don't feel like it you just don't feel motivated to move you just don't feel motivated to do anything it is in life so yeah i would not want to go into why i felt like that but i can say that i feel a lot better i've been trying to sort of like make a routine for myself so that I know what it is that I'm supposed to be doing and I also kind of reflect on what it is that I'm doing in life and things like that so I actually realized that I needed that structure in my life I, ne I haven't really like really really had that structure in my life but I feel it's been helpful I actually started this month from the beginning of this month I'm trying to put some sort of form and structure in my life and a lot of reflection and including some self-care days because what I actually realized is that sometimes we think um, sometimes we look at people and we think you know what they're good you know like they're physically healthy and all that and we kind of define well-being by just being physically healthy like the things that we can see outside but then we don't realize that for you to be a complete, not complete human being, for you to be really at your best well-being, it has to not only be physical, it has to include your mental and your emotional self. You have to be good in all those <laughs> um, areas if you're going to be like completely healthy. So that's what i've been working on 
I I don't think I'm I'm yet at a point where I really want to share what it is that I actually do um, in terms of like trying to be mentally and emotionally healthy but if it does work for me I will definitely 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 share it so the other thing yes um, settling into a new place is also like so not nerve-wracking but like it's it's a little bit harder because you have to kind of get used to being in this particular space when you were used to being in a in another space I'll give you an example about it's it's just the weirdest thing I still find myself getting dressed in the living room because I used to stay in a studio apartment and now I stay in a one bedroom apartment and for some odd reason I still find myself getting dressed in the living room because I feel like I don't know what I feel like to be honest I have not gotten used to having the bedroom part of the house and um, yeah so it takes a lot of getting used to so what else did I want to say see this is the thing I actually didn't plan to do this video that's why like I don't really have a form or structure as to what what is actually going on but anyways let me tell you guys where it is that I moved to because a lot of people were asking me like oh so you're leaving Dubai you're leaving Dubai which country are you moving to okay first of all I don't know if you guys know this but United Arab Emirates is made up of seven Emirates did you know did you know okay so I will give you the seven Emirates there's obviously Dubai which is a lot of people know because it's the most popular one and then there's Abu Dhabi which is like the capital then there is Sharjah um, Ajman Ras Al Khaimah Omar Krim and Elaine okay so there's seven of them I hope I did count seven so if you do move out of Dubai you can go to either one of them <laughs> Yes, if you do move to do, if you do move out of Dubai, guys, you can even move to Sharjah. You st that means you don't live in Dubai. Yes, Sharjah, people, I'm talking to you. You do not live in Dubai. You live in Sharjah, okay? But they're not far from each other. They like, they're not so far from each other, okay? So I initially thought of moving to Sharjah, and I actually, honestly, I did not go to look at any places. I will be honest, I was just looking online, I was like, ah, oh, Shaja, maybe, you know, uh, what, what should I do? And then, I really thought about moving to Ajman. Okay, so Ajman is like, well, where I stay, it's like, not more than 45 minutes away from Dubai. Actually, sometimes it takes me 30 minutes to get to Dubai. Well, that depends on where you're going in Dubai. But yeah i started looking at it about almost a year ago and yeah it was pre-covid that time and i was thinking still yeah even though it was pre-covid i was thinking i i really need to just get a bigger place and whatnot then i started kind of training myself when i say i started training myself to move it's like i started taking you know those uh shifts in the a.m because I thought to myself, just in case there would be traffic, I would rather opt to take like um, shifts whereby I end up going to work at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. so that I don't get caught up in the traffic. But to be honest, even though at this point in time, I have not even done like uh, a flight that goes at 3 a.m. I've been doing like 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 9, midday, and I've been okay. Like I try to leave the house pretty early. Okay, so I'm not I'm not trying to make this video very long. I just wanted to cut to the chase and say where it is that I moved to. So yeah, I met, eventually I did uh, get the guts to move, and I was a bit skeptical after I came to see the the apartments and stuff. I was quite skeptical until I I worked with one guy. And I asked him, hey, so where do you stay? And then he told me. And it was the same place that I wanted to go stay. So I was like st like asking him questions like, is it really that good? Should I do it? Should I not? 
and he kind of gave me the pros and cons of it and based on that I actually decided to then move to here and to be honest it's been it's been a breath of fresh air it's, it's somewhere new it's yeah it's good for me <laughs> like it's quite far away from it's not it's not far away from Dubai but like I mean it's not in Dubai but at the same time I feel like I'm starting to just be in a place where I'm I feel just so comfortable and I'm not a person who goes that much so that does not even change about my life and yeah I don't know what else it is that I can say obviously I am gonna do a more detailed video as to um, how the whole process was for me and however many questions that you guys might have but I'm actually glad I did make this choice I have not regretted it not even one day since I moved and hopefully I will not <laughs> I'm looking forward to staying here like maybe at least I uh, of course finish this year and hopefully a second year or something like that I don't see myself moving to anywhere else very soon I actually like this area and I like the building that I live in and the general quietness I don't hear like a lot of noise and stuff so it's been quite good for me and the space guys it's been the best thing having so much space like not having to imagine you know like i feel like when i used to live in a studio apartment if i ever thought of working out i had literally had to rearrange my apartment now i don't gotta do that so i am still like trying to not necessarily say decorate but i'm trying i'm still trying to to give it that homely feel is that a word homely yeah you know like that warmth i'm still trying to give the place that warmth and hopefully i will be done doing that in march and i'm not quite sure yet if i would want to do like an apartment tour but it sounds like a good idea it sounds like such a good but anyways like most of the stuff that i have you guys know already from my previous apartment and no not that i did an apartment of my previous apartment but still you kind of know like everything <laughs> so i don't think it might be that necessary but yeah i think i've done a lot of like too much chit chatting already and i should just stop the video here and so if you guys have questions for me for my next video about you know the whole moving process and everything just leave those in the comment section or just um, come to my instagram and ask me and i will just address it in the next video and that is about it i should say goodbye now before i start rambling on and on okay Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to press that subscribe button and yeah, that's about it.